Hi, I'm Dan York with the Internet Society, and I'm here at the 93rd meeting of the Internet Engineering Task Force, or IETF, here in Prague. I'm here with IETF Chair Yari Arko. Hello, Yari. Hi, Dan. So I understand this was one of our larger IETF meetings. Could you talk a bit about that? It was a pretty large meeting. We had actually more countries than we've ever had in an IETF meeting, so 65 countries and 1,300 plus participants. A very, very good turnout. We also had uh, remote hubs in Latin America and many remote participants, so I'm very happy about that. That's great. Now, the technical plenary had a topic about vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, and it was very enlightening to understand sort of where we're all going with these wired objects and things, but that's actually part of this broader context of work of Internet of Things that we've been doing a lot with here at the IETF. Could you talk a bit about that? Right. We have indeed working, uh, been working quite a bit with, with the Internet of Things. We have a number of working groups around you know, making IP just run on, on these small devices and, and new types of radios. We have working groups dealing with uh, ways to do um, lightweight transactions over the web um, in these devices and so forth. Um, so a big part of the ITF activities on, on this space. One thing that happened this week was that we had an interrupt test, uh, the Etsy plug test, um, where we were testing some of these technologies. Um, and you know, I was very happy to see new people in this, this test um, that had not been in the ITF before. And, lots of running code, so it was really, really successful event. Now, um, the, the hackathon this past weekend also had a great amount of, of IoT, right? What, what was going on in there over the weekend? Uh, many, many things. It did have Internet of Things, but also many other topics were being dealt with, you know, various kinds of routing solutions, and, and, and mostly the hackathon is about open source designs. Um, and you know, it, it was a big, big event. So we started the hackathon actually in the uh, previous ITF, where we had about 50 people. Now we had 120, 130 or so. Um, so it's, it's grow growing quite rapidly. And, and also there, we saw um, both new people that had not been to the ITF before. We saw not just individuals participating in this this hacking event, but but also large projects such as. OPNF, we participated in the effort, so it was really, really good to see, and, and, and a lot of um, interesting prototypes were made during the weekend, uh, a lot of students, it, it was very good to see this, and, and overall, I mean, we had just, before the ITF formally began, we had these events like the hackathon or the Etsy test, um, and those were not the only ones, so, so we had maybe 150 people or so wor working hard on, on code, which is, of course, what, what actually makes the internet run rather than the specifications. And um, I also saw uh, many of these things being referred to later in the week during the working groups, so people had learned about you know, bugs in the specifications and so forth. So I think th this is a really good thing. Yeah, I was at the hackathon working on security, DNS security issues, and, and it, was, it was a great experience to be there the whole, the whole weekend, <laughs> log, log hours, but it was great. And, and as you said, in a couple of the DNS working groups later, that work and the code was brought back in to show. So it was really neat to see the synergy of, of, the, rough, of the rough consensus and running code as we talk about. Right, and that was just one example. I didn't actually go to the DNS working groups, but I, I saw it in, in yeah. many other places. So. Yeah, it was, it was great to see in, in those spaces. So speaking of security, you know, what's the IETF been doing around security, encryption, all these kind of things these days? Right, so we, of course, care about the security a lot at the IETF. We feel that we're responsible for the security of our protocols. We think about things like privacy in the internet and what can we do about that. And of course, it's just, or our technical work is just a part of the overall issue. So it's not just communication security, but obviously um, in-system security and policies, all kinds of other things also come into the play. But we do a lot of work at the ITF around security and um, we have a project on redoing TLS, the protocol underneath HTTPS that's ongoing. Um, one thing that I would perhaps highlight here as an example that we're working on uh, improving the privacy of DNS. So when you make DNS queries and ask for particular names, uh, we're building protocols that would make it possible to hide the, the, the question and the answer from the local access network. Now, another area that came up in the, in the hackathon was real-time communication, you know, video and all these kinds of things. What are, what's going on? What are some of the highlights of what's happening at the ITF around that? Right, that's another big area at the IETF, and, and the new thing this week has been the NetVC uh, working group who had their first meeting, and this is a working group that is dealing with video codecs, and that's of course underlying everything when you do multimedia communications, video communications, you need to have some codecs where you can 
um, exchange information in an you know, interoperable manner and not use too much bandwidth. Um, and, and they're working on this, and um, it's a you know, very important area, has a lot of interest, and, and this, this is what, what's underlying the ability of browsers to communicate with each other. As, as, as you know, we're moving to a world where most of these communications are over, over the internet, or all of these communications will be over the internet, and much of it is also moving to be in the browsers as opposed to specialized applications. So Yari, we're done here. It's been a crazy week in, in, here in Prague. What's next for the ITF? Well, we are going to Yokohama in November later this year. Um, it's going to be an interesting meeting as well. Um, we will again have the hackathon, possibly even bigger than, than we have had here. Um, it's also interesting that since we are in Japan, um, there'll be other uh, meetings around us at the same time frame. So we're looking forward to working together more, even more with the W3C folks or the people from OpenStack uh, open source project. So very much looking forward to that. And then after that, we head south, right? That's right, Buenos Aires. And that's going on when? April 2016. Excellent. So if, if people out here watching this want to get more involved, uh, what do they need to do? Go to the website, www.ietf.org. All right. Well, thank you for watching. We've been coming at you from the 93rd meeting of the IETF here in Prague in the Czech Republic. And uh, we look forward to working with all of you to make the Internet work better. Thanks for watching. Thank you.